Kate, you look so worried. Do you mind sharing what the challenge is to me? I will, but not just right away. Tell me, how have you been? All have been well, but fine. I traveled out of the country after school and then I came back from Canada to manage my father's company. I must confess, since then things have been going well with me. Well, I am happy for you. Thank I you. mean, just that you totally forgot about me. Oh, uh -oh not at all. Like I no longer exist. Not at all. I, when I came back, I, I noticed your number was no longer available. I try searching for you all over my social media handles, but to no avail. I was wondering where you must have been. I've been held in ch chains and shackles. I mean, I never knew life would be this hard. Life threw me to a corner and pinned me without balance. But I'm glad I'm alive. I just wonder why life would twist the fate of the innocent like this. I seems not to take you off my mind because you are the most decent and calm girl I've ever met in my entire life. Indeed, you've been battling with life. I've been going through a lot, Kelechi. If I knew life would be this tough, Maybe I would have been a tougher person. People have different life challenges and... But that doesn't mean you're going to adopt someone's excess um, approach to your life. You know, we are... We're equipped differently as well. Well, I guess I was equipped wrongly. Do not talk like that. Life is patience. But I tell you, everything is going to be fine. Can you put up a little smile? <laughs> Talking, you sounded like you live in a slum or in one deserted area. How? Well, it's like living like a slave in your own palace. Do you mind coming in, please? I, I heard the news. You're just hearing about my husband's accident. 
Yes, I, I, I mean, but mm. come on, you, you look good, but your husband just had an accident. I mean, I was expecting you to look moody. People will think that you caused it, don't you? Mike, please, who cares about what people think? Eh? What was people's opinion when my husband almost killed me in this house? Please forget about what people think, Nico. Come on, matter. Kate. Come on, you are my little sister. You know, I will always tell you the truth. Come on, your, your husband just had an accident. At least, I called him some respect. What respect? Hmm? Does he deserve my respect? Does he respect me? We're here talking about the change that, that, that I started happening in my life. You're talking about respect. Please do. You don't have anything better to say. Tired. Okay, at least, what's the name of the hospital? Let me go and pay him a visit. Make yourself comfortable. Oh my god, this is wrong. So much too. Hope your auntie have been taking good care of you. Yes. By the way, where is she? Mommy, how is daddy doing? We hardly had an accident. Don't worry. Daddy is fine. Don't worry. In came. Oh, there she is. Oh, oh my dear. Thank you so much. Kids, why are you dressed like this and where are you going to? I was coming here. Besides, this is how I want to be looking henceforth. Don't you like it? Yes, mom. <laughs> I know. Kate, don't you think this is the wrong time to be this flashy? Judging from how you used to look when your husband was fine. Okay. You talk as if you don't know what I have been through in the hands of my husband. How I was treated. But you know we were all against it. There's no buts. Okay. I owe no one an apology. I don't have a problem with how I'm dressing. I like what I'm wearing. And if you feel that how I'm dressed is very bad, then what I've been through should be your portion in Jesus' name. Say amen. God forbid. Oh, my darling. I will get so your things so we can go, okay? Hurry <laughs> <Sorry>, up. <laughs> okay. Think about it. Looking good is good. But not now. <laughs> okay, I dressed terribly when something bad had not happened. So now that something bad has happened, what do you want from me? I should kill myself. Besides, as for looking good or looking bad, I'm just getting started. Ah. Yes, I'm just getting started though. <laughs> <laughs> What's skipping them? Welcome home! Oh my god! Oh. 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 How is daddy's condition? Will he get better soon? I don't know. Didn't you see him? I did. And I regret ever seeing him. Mommy, I thought Daddy had asked you for forgiveness. It doesn't really matter, okay? Your dad is a very wicked man. Yes. And what he did to me is unforgivable. Please, both of you, do not grow up to become like your father. Oh? I don't want my daddy to die. Mmm. Let me 
Oh. Good evening, sir. Yeah, um, Kate, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Kate, I know you are a very beautiful woman. And one of the kindest I have ever met. Not anymore. I have changed. I'm a different person now. I know a lot has happened in your home. But please, do not allow life, do not allow everything that has happened change the real you. What if you don't like who you are? I mean, it's okay to change. Change, they say, is constant. I know you have made up your mind. Yes. But at the same time, my brother Titus is still your husband. But please, do not abandon your husband in the hospital. He needs you the most. Yes. You have to go and take care of him in the hospital. He is your husband. Well, has Come on, what will people say if they hear you have abandoned your husband in the hospital? Well, has that husband been a good one? Hmm? Has he? And it's not the best time to pay him back. Well, why don't you allow me worry about being seen as a bad wife? I can't deal with that. Why don't you go to the hospital and take care of your brother? And I have been doing my best. Keep doing it. You know very well, I can't abandon my business. That's right. Your wife? Yes. I mean, she does nothing. So send her to the hospital to look after your brother. Hmm? Suche, I do not have time for things like that. Pardon my manners. What do I offer you? That is the problem. His wife, Kate, has refused to go take care of her husband in the hospital. Huh? Oh, this Kate is behaving strangely. I'm even suspecting she has a hand to what happened. Uh, 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 uh. Please, don't go there. He had an accident, that is all. It's an accident. It can happen to anybody. Mm. Ah. I know you will not believe me. And you trust people easily. Anybody could have reacted the way she's reacting. Eh? This is the result of everything her husband has done to her. Yes! That could be the more reason she has gone extra mile. So that her husband can be badly injured. Or even dead. Okay. Hmm? Why are heavy words so light on your lips? Why? Eh? Sometimes you just, you just say them without even thinking of the consequences. Please don't, 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 The moon is now beautiful, and that's when we should always be. But her lifestyle has changed. I thought we've agreed to live in peace in this house. I wonder what changed. Mom is always happy now. That's what makes me happy. Mommy now she's gone, stays on social media all day, and does other strange things she's not used to. 
Mommy has really changed. Other people do all that. Our teacher in school, she always chews gum and spends a lot of time on Facebook. If that's what will make mommy happy, then let her do it. Hey, my darling. Hey, mommy. <laughs> How do I look? You're good. Thank you. So, mommy's going out, but mommy will be back soon. Your food is in the kitchen. Enjoy yourself. Bye. Mommy needs to go have some fun. Smile. <laughs> Bye, mommy. Bye. See you all later. Mommy is now Jeez. beautiful. What am I talking about? What? She's now beautiful. What's wrong with you? Different from the Kate I met the last time. Oh yes, Kate has changed. <laughs> well, I was on my way out the moment you came in. Do you mind joining me? That's if where you're going to is a place I'd like to be. Come on, a girl just wants to relax and have fun. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't just stand there. Get in the car. <laughs> what have I done wrong? Where did I go wrong? I have been the best I can be, yet you maltreat me. I have done all you want me to do. I respect and honor you. But it's not good enough for you What else can I do? I am tired, tired of the pain Tired of the shame I am tired, tired of the tears Tired of the fear Yeah, it's a bar, so what are you doing here? <laughs> Kelechi, what do people do in a bar? Hmm? You came to pray? Come on. Where's the waiter? Oh, waiter! Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, good day, sir. Good day, ma. Good day. Oh, what can I offer you? Well, I want a cold bottle of beer. Yeah? Do you drink beer? Kelechi. <laughs> Life is for the living. I suggest you live your life now that you are alive. I mean, we never know how long we're around for. Um, what can I get for you, sir? Anything soft to do. Oh, I'll be right back. In my wide imagination, I wouldn't believe you would go next. Let alone come to a bar, public place to drink. Like I said, life is for the living, you know. Allow me to enjoy myself. I mean, relax, loosen up. Then you have to do what will affect you later. Mm. Okay. I am not doing anything that will affect me later. I am just enjoying myself. Alright? 
And I suggest you do the same. See? Let's just enjoy. Wow. The way you're drinking this beer is obvious. You've not been drinking. Tell you with the amount of joy in my heart right now, I think I am in the right direction. Mm -hmm. There is a way that seems right unto a man. And the end is destruction. Kelechi, you didn't tell me you're not a pastor. I am not a pastor. But I'm telling you the truth. The last time I saw you, or the last time we met, rather, I noticed you were in search of peace. But I tell you what, you can find peace in a green bottle. So why don't it? Come on, Kilichi, I have heard you. All right, but we are just out here to relax. Why don't you save this sermon for Sunday? I mean, it's not even Sunday. should have seen how irresponsible mommy dressed by going out today. Something serious is happening to mommy. Nothing is happening to mommy. She's more happier now than when daddy was here. Shut up. What do you know? It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> Juliet, I understand you. Okay? Did she tell you guys where she went to? No, she just left it to her brother. Hey! But she said she was going out. Shut up. Is that a location? Okay, okay. No problem. You know what? I'll wait for her to return. Then I'll talk to her. Is that okay? Please do. I am not comfortable with the way my mom is going now. Does that mean you like the way mommy used to be? I never said so. But I want me to laugh at us if they notice this mommy's new laughter. It's okay, That's please. A lie. I know some of my classmates' mommy that dresses like that. Enough. How are we you? It's okay. Enough of this argument. Ah, I'm here now. All right, both of you should just go in and read your books. Oh? Oh, uh, so, Doctor, after a brief family meeting, we have decided to move our brother down to a very good hospital in Asaba so he can be close to the family. You see, uh, I think you, you really don't know how, how critical your brother's condition is right now. I mean, from here, to Anambra, the road is almost a death trap. And I bet you he will not make it alive if you tread this road with such, with, with a, a man in such a critical condition. He will make it alive. Uh, so, uh, Doctor, what do you have us do? What, what, what advice do you have for us? Because it is not easy for me. Coming down from Asaba all the time is, is really telling on me. I have other business, other things I'm doing as well. 
Um, I think you can you can pay for AIDS. I, I know there are people around that you can pay some money and they will take care of him. But I still insist a member of his family, at least one, should come around and stay with him, take care of him. I think so. That would be better. Well, Doctor, at this point, at the, at the moment, you really not understand what is going on. You see, oh, yes, I, I can pay for it to take care of him. But getting a family member to come stay with him, at this point, I, I, I'm not sure of that. Okay. So, oh, that aside, how is he feeling? Is he responding to treatment? Um, he, 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 he's getting better, I believe. He's getting better, but I, I'm afraid if he gets out of coma and, and notice that none of his family members are here, I think he will feel rejected. He will feel bad and that will affect his healing process. Well, doctor, uh, in life, things happen to some people the way they respond to things. So, uh, well, he's my brother. I will do everything possible to see that he recovers very fast. I'm ready to pay any amount of money. And I'm praying for him. But I can't wait for him to recover and carry on with his package. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope and pray. Life is sweet, oh. <laughs> You're not used to drinking. You only had two bottles of beer and you drunk. You see, this life, this life is a gradual process. You know, next time maybe I will drink five bottles. <laughs> Who told you that? Getting drunk will help you solve a situation. Where did you get that from? Well, you see, even if it doesn't solve my situation, at least I am happy. Come on. You know, a wise man once told me that if you don't find a solution to your problem. At least be happy. Get it? And I'm happy. I think we have to go. It's yes. getting dark. Yes. We should go. Let's go, please. Let's go somewhere I can find true happiness. True happiness. We are not going anywhere. I am taking you home. Let's go. Taking you home. What? No, no, stop, stop the car. Just, just.
to stop, okay? Stop. Stop. Okay? Stop the car. Okay. Good. What is it? Look. Do you know that we missed each other before? Huh? I'm ready to give it to you now. Please, please, please. What? Please. You were a married woman. Crying out loud. Please, I beg of you, stop this. No, okay, fine, I'm driving. Allow me to concentrate. Okay, okay, okay. I will allow you to concentrate, but I don't want to go home, alright? I want to go to a hotel. Hmm? A very, very nice hotel. Just you and I. Let's just spend time together. Or we could go to your house. Hmm? Or better still, let's just do it. No, 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 no. If I, if it's okay, it's okay. I'll, I'll take you somewhere. Mm -hmm. I know of a better place we can go. Good. Let's go then. Come on. Just relax. I'm relaxed. No, no, relax and relax and listen. Okay. Thank you, please. Relax, eh? We'll go to somewhere nice. Yes, you like the place. Alright? Just relax. Right. Let me just drive. But it's not good enough for you. What else can I do? I am tired, tired of the pain, tired of the shame. I am tired, tired of the tears, tired of the fear. been rough I have tried to be tough but enough is enough I can't take it anymore look <laughs> look I can't walk okay I can't <laughs> You are going to drag me down. <laughs> Don't drag me down. I, I told you I can't. Please help me. Be careful, okay? Oh, Kate. Oh. Kate, what is all this? This is what we've become. What are you talking about? That's the part you have chosen for yourself. It's my life, okay? And I will leave it the way I deem fit. Mr. Man, what do you think you're doing? For looking about the married woman? With due respect, young man, I do not frolic with her. She requested to go out for a bottle of drink. I never knew she'd get herself drunk. So mind your words. I am going to condone this today. But next time, I will not take it lightly with you. Stay the hell away from my sister. She's married for God's sake. Don't you have brain? I hate when dogs back. Irony of life. The best girl I ever met during my school days. 
I always pray and wish to set my eyes on her again. I told my wife about her. And I thought I would find her. And I will make her friend to my wife. Now here she is. A total opposite of what she used to be. Shameless irony. How does she get here? What happened to her? She now wants to leave into drinking and fornication. No. Something serious must have happened to her. I think she needs help. If she continues like this, her destruction will not tarry. Why are you doing this? You left your home with a man and you came back drunk. How do you stand to gain from all this? What messages are you passing to your children? Oh my God, Mike. What do you want from me? Eh? One moment you say I'm too soft. Now I'm tough. Now you're complaining about being tough. What, what is this? Oh, please. Please, don't even make it look like I have a hand on this contamination you, that you're bringing to yourself. Your children, they were crying. They were begging me to stay and talk to you. Mike, look. There is something you don't understand. I have changed. Something in me has changed. And I can't go back to the same woman I used to be. No. And don't worry about my children. They will understand when they grow. Kate, they are my kids. Kate, you've changed to the wrong person. Yeah? You, this is totally wrong. Look at This is exactly what your husband was protecting you from. And now you're making it look like he was right for maltreating you. <laughs> when last have you bothered to look at your children? Do you even care about, about, about how they get ready to school? What they eat in school? Whether they're being maltreated at school? Do you even... Come on, Mike. Did you just say bad? I've been a good wife, a good woman. Where has that got me? What reward did I get? Nothing. Look, as for being bad, I'm just getting started. Yes, I haven't even reached where I'm going. Wait until you see the new level Kate is entering. Then you can call me bad. Now I'm just getting started. Kate, you're saying this in front of me. Oh, you have please, no respect. Please, please, Mike, please. It's Elio. I'm having serious migraine. I'm having hangover from the alcohol of last night. Allow me to rest now. Eh? Can, can you hear yourself talk? You've become so careless with your words. Mm. You the woman like, come on, Kate. You, are, you, you can do better than this. It's wrong. But you don't, Mike. They are my kids. They will understand when they grow up. They don't know anything. Please, just go, okay? Your husband's brother is waiting for you downstairs. Oh, God. Can you just let me breathe in this house? I have to deal with you. I have to deal with my husband's brother. I have to deal with my husband's brother's wife. I have to deal with his whole family.
Money. Kit, how could you? You are for people? I am so disappointed in you. Is that why you are here? Come on. Even if you don't want to take care of your sick husband in the hospital, at least you should have allowed one of his daughters to go take care of him. If Juliet was your daughter, would you send her to the hospital to go take care of him? Oh, yes. But unfortunately, my children are schooling abroad. They are not in Nigeria. Yes. Well, my kids are too young for that. I'm sorry. And they are his kids also, for your information. Mm -hmm. And this house is also his. <laughs> Uche. Uche, there's something you are yet to understand. Something has changed about me. I am no longer that woman you used to know, and I will never be her anymore. Are you serious? Yes, I am dead serious. Stop counting on me as a family member. I am not. When your brother feels better, I will serve him the divorce paper. Oh, Mike. Did you hear what your sister just said? Huh? <sighs> Kate. I understand that you're angry. Yes, you have every right to be angry. But don't you think this is the wrong time to be doing this? Oh. Now you will make me view all this from a different perspective. Come on, say it. Be bold enough to say it that Kate caused the accident, isn't it? <laughs> Uche, Uche, forgive me, but you're forgetting that I'm a graduate. I went to school and I know my rights. I have just been hiding behind that mask because I love your brother and I wanted to stay married, but not anymore. Since my gentility has been taken for stupidity, I am done. Done. You know what? I was in bed before I was told you were here. I better return back to bed. Excuse me. Okay, real? And Mike, you're here watching your sister doing this? What do you want me to do? Did you hear what she just said to me? What do you want me to do? When your brother was maltreating her, using her as a punching bag, did you do anything? If you had done something, I believe this wouldn't be happening. I know she's angry. She has every right to be angry. But listen. Someone's life is involved, and that person's life is her husband. Come on. She should have limited her anger. Not going this far. Uche, to be honest, I don't blame her. Not because she's my sister, but because she saw hell in this home, and you all know about it. We, we just have to take it easy with her, that's all. You can't force her at this point. Really? That's it, man. Okay. Good.
Anthony, you're welcome. Thunder fire. Thunder fire you there. Did I not want you to stop chatting men on social media? What, 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 what is this thing? What, what is this thing? What did I tell you? Jesus. Hey. Did I want you to stop chatting men on Instagram? Huh? Was that the way you had to smash my if, phone? If, 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 if you talk to me one bit, eh? If, if, if. Just try me again in this house. Try me again in this house. Stupid. Petos, <laughs> what is it? What is it? Why are you doing this? Explain to me, Titus, because I no longer understand. Why are you oppressing me like this? So I'm speaking Swahili. Do you know the problem with you? You are just very stubborn. You are just very, very stubborn. Like, you can never obey me. That, that, that's your problem. Titus, I You're gave... asking me what you've done. Titus, I gave up. My dreams. You asked me to quit my job and I listened. What more do you want? It's not just quitting your job, it's about you being my wife. That is not too much to ask, right? It's not an uphill task. Be my wife. Titus, I have been with you through good times and hard times and difficult times and all the times. I've given you two beautiful children. All my own reserved love. What, what I respect you, love. Titus. What respect? You don't give me no atom of respect because if you do, you won't be on social media talking to different men, telling them the color of your pants. You wear pink pants or you wear black pants. How the hell do you respect me by doing such? You claim you respect me, whereas you're all over the social media sending pictures to different men. Is that what respect looks like? You're just too stubborn. Do not go out. Is it hard? Is it hard? Anyway, I'm glad that has stopped. It's going to have no fun again to message different men. Thank you very much for saving my husband. Who knows? Who knows what could have become of him if we were not there? Thank you. You have to stop thanking me. Thank God. Meanwhile, how is he doing? He's getting better. <laughs> I'm happy for you. He beat you again? 
Who else? Hmm. It doesn't look like he will stop anytime soon. I don't know. But I'll keep praying for him, hoping that he will change. Look, my friend, I don't want to give you negative advice, but this is unbearable. Look at you. I can't even recognize my friend anymore. What do you want me to do? Hmm? 